Hey everyone, Annihasiu, Buenos dias, Jonapat Kivanok, and welcome to another episode of Trailer where I take you on my hikes to show you the highlights and give you some outdoor adventure inspiration. Today we're in Lane Cove National Park. This is situated in northern Sydney, amongst the, some of the suburbs in northern Sydney, such as Chatswood, Macquarie Park, Linfield, and Pimble. But you would never know it because the park is quite secluded so it's going to be a beautiful 10 kilometer hike we're going to start with the first five kilometers taking the riverside track down lane cove river then we're going to jump over and on the way back to end up at this spot again we're going to take the great northern trail which that section we're going to do is going to be the lane cove valley track and this part of lane cove national park is well known for bird watching and it is also known to be able to spot uh, swamp wallabies as well so we'll keep an eye out for that so we'll show you the highlights and also, as always, we'll include a custom map showing our track and all of the highlights on the map in the description below or in the post above. So let's go.
All right, so we just finished the Riverside Walk, the five kilometer trail that runs along uh, one side of Lane Cove River. Now we're gonna go across Lane Cove River, crossing the pier here. There's a cafe on the other side, so we're gonna check that out. And then we're gonna continue on back to where we started along the Lane Cove Valley track, which is a bit more difficult than the track that we've just done, but we're ready for it. Let's go. So we found a quick little detour. Instead of going up to the Lane Cove Valley track and starting there, we're gonna stick along the water and we're gonna take a little trail that will connect us to Max Allen Drive, go down Max Allen Drive, jump onto the Heritage Trail, which will then connect up to Lane Cove Valley track. So it's a bit more scenic that way, so we're gonna give that a go. And as always, check the custom Google map that we will create in the uh, post below or above. All right, let's go. So now we're on the Heritage Trail, which is a short trail connecting Max Allen Drive and Lanco Valley Track, Great Northern Walk. And along this track, there are a number of signs that talk about the land, the animals, and the Kemeraga people who are the traditional owners and caretakers of this land. So along this Heritage Walk, if you're interested to learn more, these are a great read.
we've made it to the end of the portion of the Great North Walk that we're going to be doing today. And we're going to be heading up these stairs to then go over that bridge. So the Great North Walk does continue along, but you got to make sure you we take these steps to head back to where we parked. Let's go. So we've made it to the end of the um, Great North Walk section. So we've done our 10 kilometers and we're just a few, about 100 meters away from where we've parked, back at that sign where we started. Lane Cove National Park is beautiful and even though it's nestled in um, a number of suburbs all around it in Northern Sydney, you would never know that uh, you're in the city. Overall, between the two tracks that we've done today, the first half, the first five kilometers of the Riverside track, fairly easy. I'd rate that as a beginner plus. A few uneven spots so you still need some sturdy shoes but definitely a lot easier than the second half. The second half the Lane Cove Valley Track which is that section of the Great North Walk is a little bit more difficult. I would say that is more of an intermediate plus. A lot of rocks to climb over, a little bit of wet spots, a little bit more elevation change as well but along the way there's fantastic wayfinding so you will not lose your way. The, uh, the second half had the Great North Walk has little tiny red markers to indicate where to turn, where to stay on the track. The track is well uh, defined anyways. For views and lookouts, the second half has the opportunity to um, take in some fantastic views of Lane Cove River as the elevation goes up. So there's a few rocks that you can look out on. Um, the riverside track is, goes right along the river, so beautiful water views. Um, for flora and fauna, I missed um, getting a swamp wallaby on camera, but we did see a swamp wallaby uh, dart out in front of us, so that was great. Birds, a ton of birds. If you like bird watching, this is the place to go for seeing any type of bird in the Sydney area. Sulphur crested cockatoos, rainbow lorikeets, rosellas, galahs, kookaburras, noisy miners, also brush turkeys are all, uh, along the, the ground everywhere you go. And for fitness intensity, the first half, the riverside track is a bit easier, so that one probably would be a little bit lower on the fitness intensity requirement. We saw some families doing that one, so it's great for a family day out. For the second half, the Lane Cove Valley track, that one has a bit more elevation change, so it requires a bit uh, higher fitness level. So overall, the Lane Cove loop is a fantastic 10 kilometer loop that you could do in a morning or an afternoon. It took us three hours to do it, so it's fantastic to get out and enjoy Sydney's backyard. So until next time, take care. Hey everyone, thank you for watching another trailer video. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to check out more videos in this series for more outdoor adventure inspiration. And also don't forget to subscribe and like for more great videos. And when you're planning your trip, be sure you are prepared. That means lots of water, a nice snack, sunscreen, a hat, some sturdy shoes depending on the trail that you're going to be on and always prepare beforehand by checking the local park management information, maps of your trail, and tell somebody where you're going before you head out.